I'm Stoney Baptiste with Urban.us, and you're watching Tech Talk. I'd love for you to be able to share with us the mission of Urban Nada. Thank you for the time and for having me on. Um, I'm honored. And uh, I guess one way to put, to put uh, the mission, to frame the mission of Urban Us is, is how my girlfriend puts it, that Urban Us is trying to save the urban world. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not too far from the truth. Um, we're um, taking a different angle to, uh, to helping startups in that we're specifically looking for um, startups that give us the opportunity to help improve urban living and, uh, and cities. The goal is 100 cities in five years. So as you take a look at what this will mean, both in a national and an international um, perspective in this, to build out this effort, how is this going to be achieved? How is this going to be scaled up? And what are some of possibly other models that you've looked at to be able to do this? So 100 cities in, in five years is something that um, you, could, you could say only a startup could do. Uh, if you look at Uber as an example, they reached a little over 100 cities in, in five years. Um, and uh, other, exam other great examples are companies like um, ZocDoc, um, Zipcar, and uh, I mean, I mean, these all started as, um, as ideas in, in early stage technologies that um, then you know, hit, hit a stride with, uh, with both the technology, the problem solution fit, and marketing. So um, we're looking to them as a model, certainly now with funding on, on, on all three of those examples, money helps, um, but there, there are, we believe there are strategies and uh, partnerships that can um, improve or increase the, op the, the likelihood that uh, the right solutions can see that sort of, uh, that sort of growth. So when we talk about um, making an impact on 100 cities over the next five years, we're speaking to the startups that we're, that we're working with and the ones that uh, might be interested in, in working with us as well. Um, we're, uh, it's our way of framing um, highly scalable. So traditionally, some of these identified issues as you've talked about, um, sustainability, climate change, mobility, transportation, things that you're looking for startups to be able to contribute to creating these smart urban cities. Um, traditionalists will say, well, that's the role of government, right, to be able to do that. Sure. What role do you see these startups, and, and why startups? Why, what would a startup be able to do um, and do in a, in a much more, I dare I say, efficient, um, effective um, way that we may see, you know, for government agencies, is something that may take a, a much longer period of time to do. Bureaucracy is tends to be the least efficient way to bring a solution to a problem. Um, so while government, um, I, I, I like to think that government continues to have our best interests in mind, um, because it's such a slow-moving and complex um, uh, machine, um, it, it can sometimes miss the mark on providing a solution or just really slowly roll out a solution um, uh, in, in some cases by, by the time they, it, uh, the solution arrives it's too late mm -hmm. um, or the problem has evolved. Mm -hmm. While there are great people, um, uh, particularly um, fellows from Code for America and you know, various other programs that are keenly specifically interested in civic engagement, how can I help the government? Um, what we're targeting is more the private citizen, um, mm -hmm. self-motivated, we just want a cool um, mm -hmm. uh, solution in our hands that solves our problems and hey I feel great that it's also saving the world. So with that said this past spring Smart City 2014 happened here in Miami and there's plans for Smart City 2015. What's your target audience? Who do you want to have um, be present in this space and what are some of the deliverables that they would walk away from that conference um, with? Okay so uh, Smart City startups 2014 went as well as we could have expected it to. We invited um, uh, 100 people. Uh, it was a curated group of 100 people that um, spanned from um, various startups, um, investment firms, cities, um, and, uh, and various industry um, uh, experts and thought leaders. 
Um, and over the course of two days, we talked through the three challenge areas that we talked about before, mm -hmm. um, procurement, partnership, and funding. Uh, in the evening, we uh, invited a number of the startups, about 25 startups um, that showcased the solutions that they're working on. And we invited 200 more people, just general citizens, more city officials, to come and see what solutions these startups have to offer to make their lives better and to make cities better. This next year, Smart City Startups 2015, um, and we're going to do it again in Wynwood. Um, and what we're going to change this time is we're going to be inviting 250 people to the, uh, the, the workshop um, uh, panel discussions and, uh, and inviting 100 startups to showcase um, their wares and inviting 1,000 people to come, in, to come and take a look. Um, so the target audience are the people that I mentioned before. The primary target audience are startups that are working in this space, investors that are interested in this space, cities that are interested in being leaders and helping solve the challenges of startups that are working in this space, and, and other industry professionals and leaders that are interested in tapping into and helping um, the startups that are in this space. And so how are you ensuring that th this group of, of people that will be assembled um, is not diverse? You talked about, in addition to being diverse, also talk a little bit about the international, that this is not just a, a U.S.-based effort. Could you talk a little bit about that, both the diversity as well as the international components of that? Sure. Um, a lot of what we do at Urban Us is based on leveraging the network of people we already know. So, um, you know, myself, um, mainly having been based here in, in Miami um, for the last um, last two, two decades almost, um, but, but having um, a network that spans down to South America. Um, and, and Sean Abramson, who um, more uh, widely has been um, a New York, a New Yorkian for a while. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, graduate of MIT. He went to um, Berlin to study creative management. Um, he's originally from South Africa. So he has a, he, we started with a very diverse personal network that then became the Urban Us network of people who had gone on to um, be doing very interesting things and um, and those people happen to know even more interesting people that are uh, working in this space. So it, it becomes a network effect of um, introductions. Uh, so the, we, the same way that we pre-qualify startups that we're working with based on who introduced them to us, uh, that's just a fact of the game um, per se, and uh, the same way we curate the group of people that um, that we invite to the uh, to the event. I mean, the site is open to uh, to apply to keep to keep up to date and to uh, certainly introduce yourself to us so that we can be aware if you're doing interesting things in this space. So we invite um, as many people as uh, as is interested to come uh, to SmartCitystartups.com and uh, and apply to to come to the next event. Um, so where that um, ends up, we're we're kind of betting on serendipity mm -hmm. that the right people will show up to the site because this is aligned with their interests and that um, the most interesting people that we already know will invite more interesting people. You've been founder, president, co-founder of a number of IT business ventures. So uh, I read that as you being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur at heart. How do you use the experiences that you've had for, you know, during your professional life um, to nurture these startups that are coming into Urban.us? Our primary business model is investing in, in startups. And um, that's only going to work out if we pick the best founding teams. The first frame is, are you solving cities' problems? Um, the second frame is, OK, so what challenges and problems as a startup are you facing that we can help you with? Um, and again, being a founder myself um, of various technology startups, um, understanding and relating to their problems and, and tapping into solutions and, and experiences that I've had has lent itself uh, immensely to uh, to helping them, um, and of course, again, the power of having an existing network based on things you've already done um, is uh, is useful. Urban Dadas is about six months in. Give us a report card in terms of uh, the work that you've done and and how you're feeling. You and Sean are feeling about this. Well, we're we're learning a lot. We've learned a lot. Um, so I I'd say some of the key things that we've that we've learned is that we can. Um, one, we can pull an event off because, <laughs> as I said, Smart City Startups um, came together really well. Um, two, we, we so far are finding a lot of really smart and interesting people in this space, both by evidence of Smart City Startups and people coming down from all around the world 
um, to Miami. I, I mean, I'm sure they were partially attracted to the weather in mm -hmm. April, but we, we'd like to think they were also interested in, in uh, helping the startups that are, are helping cities. Um, but in addition to smart city startups, we, we curate an online network of, of, of a subset of these people who are um, on, have an ongoing engagement with the startups that we're working with. Um, and, and the fact that we've gotten in nine months to a little over 150 actively engaged people that are helping us help the startups that we're working with, I think is very encouraging. Um, and, uh, and then finally, in, in, in the last nine months, in our first nine months really it's, uh, that it's been, um, we've, uh, we've invested in and started working with 13 startups. Um, we're extremely excited and, 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 and very encouraged and very proud of every single one of them. I mean, we've, uh, I think we've done a really good job of picking our first batch, so to speak. Um, so all of these things we, we would like to see continue. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure having this conversation. My I'm excited. Um, we are definitely going to be um, looking out for the work that, that you are going to be doing in the future and um, making, taking every chance we get to talk about your work and talk about urban.us. Thank you. Thank you.